Hey guys, come on downstairs. We are playing a little UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball here today. It's MVP 06 NCAA baseball. And we are playing game number 13 against the UNLV Rebels. Last episode, we came off a 3-2 loss on the road against San Diego State. Second game of that series, we dropped 10-3. We went on to play Hawaii. First game was postponed. We played a doubleheader on Sunday. Won the first game 9-2, lost the second one 6-1, went on to lose two at USC, and then went on to lose two more against Arkansas State, and yet again two more losses against Santa Clara, and then two more losses against the Nebraska Cornhuskers, 8-1 and 5-2. So we are sitting at 1-11 after the month of February here in year number two. And we face the UNLV Rebels, who are 8-4. and four. We are at home in this two-game quickie of a series to open up the month of March. We are targeting some prospects here. Jeff Vass, Hiram Pinheiro, uh, the two top prospects that we're looking at. We're getting some interest from some of the lower-tier ones down there. Bobby Horton, a starting pitcher, and Wilson Higgins, a starting pitcher and left fielder. Um, even Mark Zanicola, a 63 overall, but uh, I don't know how good of a recruiting class we're going to be able to come up with. Last season was pretty low, and we're going to probably have to just incrementally improve. We are dead last in the Big West at 1-11. and 11. Pacific just above us is 2-8, and eight. but uh, we're a ways away from conference play, and that will be a new slate. So hopefully we can improve up to that point. We have lost nine consecutive games here as uh, UC Santa Barbara off and struggling badly here in year number two. UNLV is 8-4. They are third in the 17 Mountain West Conference. They will send Muscatello, who has a 1.10 ERA and a 3-0 record to the Hill, to face Sean Sosinski, who is 0-4 for us, a 3.75 ERA. Let's get ourselves out to Caesar Uesaka Stadium in Santa Barbara, California. It is UC Santa Barbara and the UNLV Rebels. Sean Sosinski, 0-4, 24 innings pitched in his four appearances, so averaging six innings per start. Uh, two walks, 12 strikeouts. And UNLV, probably a middle-of-the-road team in college baseball. Not top tier, but they're not horrible either. James Woodring will lead things off for the Rebels against Sean Sosinski, and he does so with a line drive into the gap in left center. Zerby's going to chase it down at the wall and get the ball back in and hold Woodring to a double. Quick look at the batting order for the Rebels. Woodring already with a hit. Rap Geary, Alexander's batting 524 with seven home runs. Leg with three home runs, Broussard 400 with five home runs. Bottom three, yeah, the bottom third of the order, I should say, is struggling a little bit. Frey and Sale under the Mendoza line. Judd hitting 356, though, is not bad. So here is a pop fly to short. Osteen, a freshman, underneath it, makes the play for out number one. Let's look at the Gaucho's defense in the outfield, left to right, McConnell, Zerby, and Sorgi. The infield is Maldonado at third, Osteen at short, Jeremy Hilton at second, Hades at first, and a battery of Luke Bender and Sean Sosinski for Santa Barbara. We're a young team. We are struggling, uh, playing mostly on that left side of the infield and in left field, some young players. Maldonado at third, on to Haynes at first. For out number two, holds the runner at second, and Rick Alexander will come up with two outs in the top of the first. And this pitch is going to get past Bender all the way to the backstop, and the runner will move up to third. Sosinski covering the plate. 1-1 one, one count with two outs, ground ball left side. Maldonado on to first, and that retires the side. Rebels strand a runner at third. It's UNLV zero. The Gauchos coming to bat. They will face P.J. Muscatello, 1.10 ERA, 18 strikeouts, 10 walks. They're going to have to be patient at the plate today. This guy's not giving up a lot of runs, but he will walk some runners, and maybe if we get a few key base hits, we can score on UNLV here today. So you can see we only have two home runs. Coltrinari and McConnell have one each. They are definitely our uh, 
biggest power threats. Jeremy Helton should be hitting better than the 143 that he is. And this is Jim Zerby to lead things off. He is our speed threat. And he strikes out. Next batter strikes out as well. We get to the third hole in the lineup. That's Jeremy Helton. He's got an 87 contact rating, but he's batting like 140 now after that strikeout. So Muscatello strikes out the side for the Rebels. And at the end of one, it's UNLV and Santa Barbara scoreless. We're going to skip ahead in the interest of time to the fifth inning. This is Maldonado at the plate, the third baseman. He grounds it up the middle, backhanded a second on to first for the first out of the inning. Maldonado retired, and the young shortstop Tim Osteen will come to the plate. He's already one for one on the day with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. He grounds it to the right side. For out number two, Gene Sorgi now making the start in right field. He hasn't played a lot this year. He's batting 500, and he might deserve some more playing time as he lines it right up the middle for a base hit. And the lineup will turn over. This is Jim Zerby, the center fielder. Runner on first with two outs, and Zerby hits it into left. Diving play! And the catch is made out there in left field. We move on to the sixth inning now. This is Scott Geary. He's 0 for 2 on the day, batting 380 on the season, the first baseman. Top of the sixth, line drive into center in front of Zerby. It drops, one hops to Zerby. And UNLV has a runner aboard, Rick Alexander. This is their uh, big bat in the middle of the lineup, Alexander, with a base hit up the middle. Runners on first and second now, and we're going to come out and talk to Sosinski. Got a positive reaction out of that, and the catcher, Grant Legg. We'll step into the box. Could be a double play ball. No, Helton just goes to first. Should have tried to get two there, but he only gets one. So runners on second and third with just one out. Broussard strikes out swinging, and there will be two outs for Chris Fry. Batting 196 on the year. This one into left. McConnell to his right makes the play. And UNLV, no runs on seven hits. Santa Barbara, no runs on four hits. We go to the bottom of the inning. Corey Haynes will lead things off. He's the first baseman for Santa Barbara. Swung on and missed. Another strikeout. Muscatello mowing through the Gauchos lineup so far today. Jeremy Helton at the plate now. Pops it up on the left side. Coming in slowly is the third baseman who makes the catch. Nate Colchinari now. The DH. One for two. He has some pop in his bat. This one, though, is going to get past the second baseman. Sometimes it feels like uh, we're hitting a bowling ball out here. Looks like we make good contact, and the ball just goes nowhere. So the end of the sixth inning, still no score. We've got a pitcher's duel here in Santa Barbara at Uesaka Stadium. Michael So Seo at the plate. 0-1 delivery will start now that we've uh, advanced into the game a little further. We'll start doing pitch by pitch to close this one out. Jeff Judd, number nine hitter, ground ball to the left side. Maldonado on to first makes the play, and that'll bring up James Woodring. The lineup turns over for the Rebels with two outs in the seventh. So Sinski gets the breaking ball across, now a cutter lifted to left field. McConnell charging, can't make the catch. It'll one hop. And that should be the end of the day as we're going to bring on Ivan Zayas to take the place of Sean Sosinski. Zayas, I believe he's the lefty, will come in to face Drew Rapp, second baseman, batting 294. Runner on first with two outs. Slow ground ball to Haynes up the first baseline. He steps on the bag. We stretch. Here in Santa Barbara, bottom of the seventh, Luke Bender will lead things off for the Gauchos. Still no score here. Little Mountain West versus Big West Conference matchup in college baseball along the left coast. Ground ball right side, played by the second baseman on to first for the out. Scott Maldonado now. Santa Barbara. Not showing much offense so far this season and getting shut down here today by a very hot pitcher from UNLV. 0-2 delivery with one out, right side on the ground. 
Another play by the second baseman easily made for out number two. This will be Tim Osteen. He is the shortstop. Freshman, I believe. He checks swings, and he does not go around. 1-0 count. Lifted to right field, and that one is going to be caught on the run. End of seven, still no score here in Santa Barbara. We move to the eighth. Eighth inning now. 1-0 delivery from Zayas. This one's a cutter off the plate, 2-0. And, and he falls behind 3-0. I wish I knew who was batting here, but I did not get that information. Sorry about that. Rebels will substitute. It was Barrera who was batting, and he will be pinch run for by Doran. Here is Rick Alexander. Alexander takes a big cut at the first pitch and misses. This one goes out of the zone. Lead off runner or lead off batter aboard for UNLV. And Alexander strikes out looking the old yak. Bring up Grant Leg. Grant Leg swings through the curveball. And this one lifted out into left field for McConnell. Catch is made. Runner will have to retreat to first. So you see Mike Sherman and Daniel uh, Tropany in the pen for UNLV. The Gauchos would love to see a new pitcher on the hill, that's for sure. Muscatello has been tough to hit today. But obviously Gauchos pitching has been just as tough for UNLV. Chris Frey now, the left fielder with runner in scoring position, ground ball, Osteen, chooses to go to third to Maldonado, and they make the play. We go to the middle of the eighth inning now. UNLV with no runs on nine hits, and the Gauchos no runs on five hits, and we get a new pitcher, Gene Sorgi. Finally, a new pitcher for the Rebels. Sorgi lifts this one to right field. Let's see if that can help us sneak out our second win of the season here against the Rebels. Jim Zerby now with one out, bottom of the eighth. Diving play made at third, on to first, easy play. Corey Haynes now, the first baseman, will step in. With two outs in the eighth, he swings and misses at the two-seamer. 0-1 delivery with two outs. Takes the fastball for a strike and lifts this one into foul territory down the third baseline where the catch is made to end the inning. We have played eight innings here in Santa Barbara. We go to the ninth with no score. Top of the ninth inning, Michael Sayo. Center fielder over three with a strikeout so far in the game. Ivan Zayas is still pitching for the Gauchos. 2 0 delivery. This one's lifted into left. McConnell is going to have to play it on the bounce. He traps that one down near the turf. And the Rebels will have a base runner aboard with nobody out. This is Judd. Judd's going to try to lay down a bunt. He pops it up behind the plate. Bender has it for out number one. Lineup turns over. This is James Woodring, the DH. Woodring slices this one through the hole on the left side. Base hit for the Rebs. And Drew Rapp will have two aboard, including one in scoring position. Try to give UNLV the lead here in the top of the ninth. Facing Ivan Zayas, he'll get the bunt down. Haynes turns, throws to first, play made. We've got two outs. And Lenny Cipriano, a light-hitting first baseman, will come to the plate. This one's in the dirt. It gets away from Bender, but no harm. Runners will stay put. Cipriano swings through a high... Curveball, mistake pitch that Zayas got away with there. And he's going to be rung up on strikes. And that is how the top of the ninth inning will end. We move to the bottom of the ninth. UNLV leading in hits, but nobody has any runs. Jeremy Helton will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. 1-1 one, one delivery. To Jeremy Helton. It is high, 2-1. And this one fouled down the left field line. 2-2 two -two count. Still nobody out in the bottom of the ninth. This one's just off the plate. Good take there by Helton. And he takes another one and draws a leadoff walk. So the winning run is aboard for Santa Barbara. And the Rebels will bring in Trapani. Out of the pen, Trapani. 
with the slider. Runner on first, nobody out. He falls behind quickly, 2-0. And the slider down and away. And another walk by UNLV pitching. Sends the game-winning run into scoring position for Jesse McConnell. McConnell with nobody out. Two-seamer catches the outside corner. 0-1 delivery breaks around the outside of the plate. 1-1 count. This one bounces over the head of the first baseman. And with nobody out, we hold the runner at third. And Luke Bender with a chance to drive in the winning run just 90 feet away. He takes the first pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Fouls off the second one. 0-2 delivery and he strikes out swinging a two-seamer breaking back in towards his hands. And that is the first out of the inning. So Scott Maldonado can win the game without a base hit here if he can get one to the outfield. Check swing. That's going to be a called strike one. Ground ball, right side, to the plate for the first out, on the first, and the Rebels turn the double play. And they get out of the inning. We're going to go to extras. We're going to skip ahead to the 12th now. This is Lenny Cipriano, the first baseman for the Rebels. Casanova now. Patrick Casanova on the hill. He was a starter for us last year. Has been pushed to the bullpen because we got a recruit to take that third starting position in the rotation. 2-2 count. Here's the delivery from Casanova. Chopped to the left side. Maldonado has it on to first. Two Haynes for out number one. Rick Alexander now three strikeouts on the day for the 489 hitter. And the Gauchos will be careful with him. Casanova. 1-1 one, one delivery. This one is high. 2-1 count with one out. And a breaking ball for a strike. 2-2 two, two delivery now. Swung on and driven to center field, a base hit for UNLV Zerbe. Gets it back in. It's a single for Alexander, and Grant Legg will come to the plate, the catcher. And Legg right up the middle past Casanova will push the go-ahead run into scoring position with just one out in the inning. This is Bobby Broussard. Broussard's going to try to lay down a bunt. He gets it down successfully. He might beat this one out. Bender can't get it. Over to first in time, and we've got the bases loaded with one out. Helton, double play ball. On to second. Osteen, on to first. They got him. No, they call him safe. All right, let's take a slow motion look at this. The umpire absolutely got this wrong. He is out by a step, but there are no challenges in college baseball, not in MVP 06 anyway. And so UNLV takes a one to nothing lead in the top of the 12th on a botched call at first. Ground ball to Osteen. Osteen on to first. This time it's an easy call for the umpire. We go to the bottom of the 12th inning. UNLV is pushed across to run. They lead one to nothing. And Sherman will come in for Trapani. Quickly, the batter falls behind 0-2, and swung on and missed. Luke Bender to the plate now. He's 0-4 on the day. Gauchos down to their last two outs, staring loss number 12 in the face. And the delivery by Sherman right back to the hill. And we have out number two. Scott Maldonado, the last chance for the Gauchos here. Take strike one on the inside corner, trying to keep the game alive. Delivery from Sherman, swung on and missed. 0-2 count, breaking ball, grounded to second, easy play, and the Rebels get the win in 12 innings here in Santa Barbara. The first game of a two-game series goes to the Rebels. Final score here today, Rebels won, Gauchos nothing. Rebels, one run on 16 hits. That's a lot of stranded runners for UNLV. And we could only manage six hits, and I think like the last, man, every, we didn't get a single hit in extra innings. That is, I know that for a fact. So the Big West standings as we close out this episode, Long Beach State is 10-3. and three. They are leading. Not a huge surprise there. Cal State Fullerton in second. Those are probably the two top programs in the Big West year in and year out. And we are down at 1-12. We've got a long ways to go here on UCSB Dynasty. We've got a 
long ways to go to build a winner here.